Yo, what's going down? It's your boy Big D. Um, got some injury updates lined up. I got some injury updates lined up for uh, Ron Darby, Caleb Sturgis, and Jason Peters. All right, here we go. They're saying that Ron Darby may only miss four to six weeks potentially. Eh, that's not bad. Well, actually, that is bad, but it's not as bad as, say, half the season or the entire season. You know what I mean? It 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 appears to be a dislocated ankle. I don't know, man. I think maybe they'll activate C.J. Smith from the practice squad. Maybe they'll turn to rookie Rasul Douglas. I hope they don't try to ride the ship with Jalen Watkins. Or Corey Graham, because those guys fucking suck. I don't know, man. Just do It doesn't look good. Like I said before, that's a huge... That's a huge blow to our fucking defense. Get better soon, Darby. Four to six weeks, it appears, but we'll, we'll see. Oh, Caleb Sturgis, he, su he suffered a quad injury late in the fourth quarter. And turns out that the reason why the Birds went for that two-point conversion, which I forgot to mention yesterday, yeah, went through it to Alshon Jeffrey. Alshon Jeffrey did get one catch in the end zone after all, but it wasn't a touchdown. It was a two-point conversion. And that fucking sore loser, Josh Norman, decided to swat the shit down afterward. You fucking showed. Although I will give Norman credit. He did do pretty, pretty decently against Jeffrey. But yeah, the reason why they went for that two-point conversion was Caleb Sturgis had suffered his quad injury prior to that, and he wasn't able to kick the extra point after Fletcher Cox's touchdown fumble recovery. So they went for two, and Sturgis squibbed it. So basically, they're saying they're saying he could miss they could miss several weeks, and they're working out new kickers. I mean, some of them some candidates are Dan Carpenter, Nick Novak. I swear to God, man, they better not fucking sign that jabroni Robert Aguayo. That guy fucking sucks. How the hell? This dude missed more fucking kicks than any other kicker. This past uh, in the past two seasons, both last season and this season, including the preseason. How the fuck do you get cut by two NFL teams within two seasons? With it, no, within a season. We better not fucking sign him. If we do, I am not going to be fucking happy, because that guy will single-handedly fuck us out of football games. Just saying. We gotta seriously blow opponents out if we're if we sign him, which we're not that type of team right now. And last but not least, Jason Peters suffered a groin injury, is considered day to day, but it seems day to day. So he plans on playing versus the Kansas City Chiefs, but he's not gonna be at a hundred. So it's probably gonna be the equivalent of Vitae being in there. I don't know. It's it might be 2015 all over again, where where you don't know whether to blame him for being in there or blame the coach for putting him in there. All I know is, yep, we enter we entered the season at full fucking strength, and just one game. Now, now we have motherfuckers on the goddamn injury. I don't know why shit has to go like this, but you know what? I'm still going to keep my head up. I'm still going to go into every single game individually with an open mind. Because the thing is, we've battled through injury before. Many teams have battled through injury before. But I'm not going to get my hopes too far up, But I'm gonna, but I will keep my head up. And try to be realistic about shit. But anyway, let me know what y'all think about this news. Like the vid, subscribe to the channel.
Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Get well soon, guys.